Rocco, Lois Bluffs, Tan and Sullen, Jules dancing nervously down sheer dusty slopes, young action adventure hero silently battling evil agents of mechanistic dullness beneath a pale blistering sky larger than the universe, heart racing, pumping madly with love for a city which has never in its quiet tragic history returned an ounce of love to the lost and lonely ones wandering narrow torturous cobblestones. Dark, brown, small, and firm, buckeyes hoarded in dust-stained fingers, fine treasures for a young boy, alone and happy among bricks and books and swaying treat silhouettes of long dead and forgotten presidents. Mysterious alleys, hidden treasure filled trash cans and coal chutes revealing the nervous illicit secrets of playmates, whose beauties were old and sagging long before my naive eyes ever caressed crumpled thighs. Further down, into the city, always down, always beaten the poetic sights. Grand houses perched atop the highest, the typical piles of loam, which are the stolen bones of these council bluffs, founded upon the original set of Lewis and Clark shell game, bigamous Mormons frozen and dying along the monstrous muddy river of which even the Indians refuse knowledge, the unfettered dignity and power of the ancient Missouri River gurgles an elegy for two cheated nations, thrown up a charnel ground for the ill-conceived and stillborn children of a third, more a culture than a cult. A fine example of middle America, middle class, middle of the road, foundations laid upon tablets of fools, gold, impetus, lust, and fractured personalities of the slave women of the Latter-day Saints, the vast set bulk of 19th century Mormonism, lie nearly dead in the frozen mud of the vast unforgiving plains. There is no forgiveness in the Midwest, only ruined and forgotten farms, and the lovely graves of nameless immigrants lost beneath the tangled grasses of the Great Plains. I was given nothing but a stable vacuum and a headache. Two packs of smokes later, the headache was splitting words and playing hardball. Given the precariousness of my disposition, I immediately went underground and began to gather my thoughts. Slip. Delirium. Rocket through chasms of delirium. Altruistic urges. Text to the point of rupture. This. Here. Now. Is this all that there is? Is this all the things I get? Slip. Delirium. Ponder waves of chaos. We all the ride, slicing sheer, crashing tunnels of roaring entropy. In a road of universe, the immovable object is shit out of luck. Scratch another adage. 